What's up? It's your boy Genius Lex back at it with another video, baby. And this one is gonna be a little different. Today, I want there's multiple things I'm gonna go over today. First thing I want to go over, I want to talk about what's going on with Funko and this NFT thing. I know you guys have heard it, it's been going on for weeks. Uh, first thing, the NFT they came up with when they did the House of Dragons, it was Viserys, I want to say was his, is his name, yeah, is his name, Viserys the King, the one that, you know, rioted and died eventually in, in the first uh, season. They have the NFT, which was highly sought after, it was him with his mask off and half his face is kind of decayed. That one was very sought after, 100 bucks, like, that one shot up was one of the first in that pack to go up besides the grill. Um, and then... Camp days came. I think it was camp day. Camp uh, fun days came around, or it, I think it was camp fun days. When they announced that they had of a series, and then the chase is pretty much identical to what the NFT is. The only difference is NFT. I think is bloody, and but we haven't. We don't have the NFT in hand yet. So we don't know how that's going to come out. And then the chase is not bloody. It's just black where the eye hole missing eye is and half of the bottom of the face is. So it kind of pretty much came up with the exact thing and they're making the NFTs not as, I don't want to say sought after, but they're making them not as special, I guess. And the point of the NFT, because people spend hundreds, sometimes even thousands of dollars to get specific NFTs and just to open up packs. So for people to spend that amount of money on these NFTs and then Funko comes and make a common or a chase variant that's super similar to the nfts that we are shooting to get and hoping and praying to get which you get a 1.50 percent chance to get a legendary or a 0.22 percent chance of getting a grail um 90 percent chance of getting shit you know for them to do that and we're not even going to talk about the ranger slayer which is the glow in the dark common pb or px exclusive which is better than the <laughs> and the nft ranger slayer that is limited as well we aren't even talking about that yet but for nf for them to create an nft that people want that is limited peach counts that everyone in the funko collection or anyone that, fun that that collects funkos or funko pops the grail is always to get a limited piece count item because you want to have a product that you know is not mass produced and not everybody can get. You want to feel special and feel that you have something that is special and unique in your collection. Um, and they're kind of taking that away by creating commons I, or chases and commons. And then obviously Ranger Slayer being glow in the dark, a better pose, overall better than the NFT. So they're making the comments better than NFTs when people are paying more, which should be a premium product. They should go all out on these NFTs because they're making money hand or fist. They're selling packs that people get nothing for, and they're still that people go get nothing, like unless you pull a legendary or grail or collect a royalty. So they're selling digital items to people at a premium price for those people to hope and pray that they get something that they can redeem for physical. So they're making money hand over fist, fist and not making the items that people get lucky enough to get special. And when I say special, I mean, why aren't any of these flocked? Perfect example, the Looney Tunes pack, which there is. Uh, Yo Sammy Sam, his beard should have been flocked. That would have been amazing. Uh, Lone Corn, or uh, uh, Leghorn, he's a chicken. He should have been flocked. That would have been perfect. Uh, Wiley Coyote, he's a coyote. Flocked would have been perfect. Uh, the um, Roadrunner, flocked. Uh, royalty, Bugs Bunny Freddy, flocked. That would have made that set perfect and made people want to go after NFTs even more, but they took the easy route and just made them normal NFTs, which people still want them. They're still sought after. I have the whole master set and I love it. But if they would have gone above and beyond and made this premium, like the price is premium to get these, then that would have made sense. That would make Funko's fan base go even crazier and more people will try and go for these things like they want. It's just a win-win because 
you only have a limited amount of items to make flock there. I think that I think their argument may be, and I don't know this to be true, that it costs you know more money to produce flocked glow in the dark metallic blah 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 okay cool these are limited pieces you're not going to make as many special because you have a set limit to these items and a premium price attached to these items why not make the price and the item match to make it the level that it should be if that makes sense you know and in my opinion on this i think that funko initially started nfts nfts were supposed to be special because you look at the very first drop was a teenage mutant ninja turtles drop almost every you no know, every legendary in the grail were all unique to that set so you had the the uh the grail which was leonardo it was kind of some kind of radar paint or like uh x-ray scan or whatever whatever however they made that it was very unique they haven't made another item as far as i know like that at all so that's the Grail, offhand, the most unique Grail, most unique, probably Funko, Funko product right now because it's only 99, 999 of those. And no other Grail or a Funko item can say they have that type of finish or paint or whatever you want to call it. All right, cool. Grail, different, massively special, perfect. Then you have uh, Bebop, which is black light, dope. Like, that's one of the best legendaries they've made. Then you have Shredder, which is metallic dope also in special is made in silver and gold like very unique very special do you have i forget his name stacy adam i'm pretty sure i'm butchering his name i don't know his name but the guy with the mask and the hockey puck y'all know what i'm talking about metallic as well and he's purple and black for the most part special then you have the royalty which is freddy which is probably the least special out of all of it but freddy uh with a skateboard and mask on as a ninja turtle i think that's even metallic. I'm not too sure about that one. But the first set, they started out the gate swinging, making every item special and made everything seem worthwhile. Perfect. Cool, Funko. We all in. Let's get in there and let's get this, right? Because we're going to get limited special items and it's not going to be just given to us. We got to get a pack and pray that we get what we want out of it. You know what I mean? It's like a gambling deal. It's like a kind of like, kind of like a mystery box, but a mystery you know, cards or whatever, you know, just like you buy a Pokemon, you know, pack. But then they came out with, and this was in second, I don't know when they came up with this, but then they came out with the Star Trek where all the items were black light, all the legendaries and grails uh, were all black light. And that made sense as well. Black light, it wasn't really new. I think it was maybe new around then because that was before I started collecting NFTs. But black light, I think was new then, especially when in, in something different. So it made that different. But then from there, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong, they've done everything from then on normal. They kind of, it's kind of like they they got everybody hooked on what's the possibility of getting the NFT and what they can do with the NFTs and blah, blah, blah. And then they just dropped the ball and started making everything not special. They just made it limited because they already have the crowd. They're already selling out. So my question is, Funko for Funko, and this is not me bashing or, or anything like that. Why would you, why would you guys have a premium product at a premium price? And believe me, it's premium because you can pay ten dollars for something and get shit. You can pay a hundred dollars for these packs and not get shit. You can pay five hundred, which I've seen uh, people pay five hundred bucks and maybe get one redeemable that's worth thirty dollars on the on Atomic Hub. You know what I mean? So people are paying premium prices for something that Funko doesn't really care or doesn't care to really make special. They know we want limited piece counts and that's pretty much the only thing they're doing for us and we don't really know if those limited piece counts are actually true. So this isn't a bashing, this is a Funko. You have the product, you have the customers. You can have more customers if you guys try harder and do more and make these specialty items actually special in some in some way you know you guys have a huge opportunity with the nfts because it's already massively successful why not go above and beyond why not do something for your fandom with you guys being the fun company make shit fun again you know stop half-assing and figure it out you know and, and that's not me trying to be hard it's just me being a realist like you're selling out of almost every one of these packs or uh drops 
right? Almost have every one of these. Probably making, I don't know how much you're making. I'm going to throw a random number. Let's just say you're making $500,000, which I think is wild unless you have a very big drop, but it's possible. You're making 500000 off of these drops, and then you're only producing maybe 10000 items out of that, and more, most of the times less than that. Why wouldn't you go above and beyond for those 10,000 items? And that's that's a question, a legitimate question, like for Funko. I know they're probably not going to say this or answer this, but why wouldn't you go above and beyond to grow your your core audience? Because the amount of publicity you will get from saying, "Hey, I got this in," and guess what? They made it flock, or they made it glow in the dark, surprisingly, or they made it metallic you know whatever it may be you know we love that stuff and then people wouldn't have an issue with you then making a lesser variant of a series or uh what's her name a uh, pink ranger slayer because the nft should have been glowing in the dark so if you make a comment that's not glowing in the dark then okay it's okay we got the superior variant in this and it's limited we're happy the people that don't want to dive into nfts are happy because they get some sort of variant of nft it's a win-win <laughs> uh, and right now, uh, this is the drop where uh, the Power Rangers, the movie, uh, Power Rangers Season 2, uh, just, or uh, was it Season 2? Or Series 2, I'm sorry. Power Rangers Series 2, the movie drop for NFT, just dropped. People are boycotting that. Not boycotting it, but people were trying to look at that and say, hey, don't buy these packs. Make Funko earn it you know make funko get back to funko of oh what well, they actually cared about the consumer and their core audience don't buy this stuff and hit their pockets so that funko can actually make something good so funko can really go back to the drawing board and really try and be a company for the people and not you know just a company that wants the dollar you know which every company does we understand we understand business we understand profit uh but be a company that's actually for the people that make stuff that makes people happy, makes their fans happy. Get back to that. Um, and with that said, <laughs> I actually bought two premium packs of uh, the Power Rangers uh, drop. So I'm gonna actually open that and I'm actually just do it for my phone. I'm gonna have it kind of easy uh, today. So um, I wanna first go over this drop. Like I said, it's kind of lackluster. They kind of like thrown some out there because this movie I think came out in 1995 or 1997, I, I forget when. But I want to um, go over the drop and show you guys, which I know you guys probably already seen, but kind of do a review of the, do a review of the Redeemables. All right, so let's start off with The Grail. This is, and I'm not sure who, I, I remember the movie I'm old enough, I've seen the movie. I remember Ivan Ooze the most. He's been, he was the one that you, I don't know why he had the the most memorable roles or he's just the most memorable. But I obviously remember Ivan Ooze. He was awesome. Uh, but her, and I'm gonna say her name wrong, Ducia, Ducia? I don't know how to say her name, but her, I didn't remember her at all. I had to look her up to see who she was. And she's the one that gave the Rangers their ninja powers or their ninja, you know, their ninja power really. Um, and I didn't know that I had to go back and look it up. So Seize the Grail, only 999 of these made a 0.22% chance of getting this. I would take the Grail strictly based off the fact that it's a Grail and it's limited. I'll take it on that. And then we have Aisha, which is a yellow uh, Ninja Ranger, you know, mid. Then we have Billy, blue Ninja Ranger, Ninja or Ranger, I don't know, uh, mid. Pink Ranger Kimberly mid, Tommy the White Ranger, and all of those were the legendaries. 1,900 of those available, a 1.69% chance of getting those. So again, a very low percentage chance of getting. Uh, all those were okay, uh, not super interested. Then you have Ivan, I'm sorry, Freddy is Ivan Ooze, which is the best thing out of this pack. I want to collect a royalty to get this, if anything. But the best thing out of this, this would be perfect. And if they made this glow in the dark, your fans will go crazy, Funko. Like, it's perfect for glow in the dark, right? But out of all of these, I will go for the Freddy Funko as Ivan Ooze, and then I'll go for the uh, Grail. That's what I would do. So with that said, I bought the packs. Uh earlier and I opened them up by pre-recorded so I want to go through with you guys 
to show you guys what I actually hit for and what I got and if I got anything good. If, if you guys watch my videos, you guys already know the results I typically get when I only buy uh, two packs. But that's fine. <laughs> let's go ahead and check it out. Let's see what I get and go from there. So let's start off with the 7,952 pack. Open that thing up. Oh, cool background. Super cool background. Um, but the sound isn't, it's just a normal sound. Um, so let's start off with that first one. That's going to be uncommon, uncommon, common, which is, you know, I like Lord Zed as well. He's one of my favorite, like for sure, for sure, for sure. Then you got an uncommon Tommy, uh, common pink ranger, uh, uncommon epic, which I, I need the epics. Uncommon Aisha, or sorry, Common Aisha, Common Godar, Common Alpha 5, Grail. I was not expecting this at all. I was not expecting this at all. Like they gave me the Grail. I was like, okay, that's fine. So I was really a rare Green Ranger, Common, Common, and Uncommon. I was really looking to just get the epics because I want the Ivan Ooze. I'm, Ivan Ooze is just, I don't know why he's iconic to me. And I don't know, I don't, it's been so long ago since the movie came out, but he was just iconic. But on to the next pack. Premium pack number 16,920. Let's see what they got for me. All right. That first one is a common Pink Ranger. Uncommon. Uncommon, uncommon, rare, common, 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 uncommon, rare, uncommon, and a grail. A grail. A grail. Two grails back to back on pack openings and then I got the coin too which I like collecting coins I'll get that coin either way but two grails two different packs one of the first times this ever happened one of those time I got two grails and a pack opening I've got triple the amount of packs was the uh, first series one Hanna-Barbera I got two grails in that first time ever and I bought six packs that time so with this one I bought two packs East pack a grill back to back crazy crazy and this is one of the ones that like with this pack I wasn't really expecting a lot I really liked the NFTs and I like opening up the packs so I just bought two packs just because I enjoy it I did not expect to really get anything let alone the grill which is just insane uh, for me um, but did you guys get it packed I know a lot of people were trying like to really hit Funko's pockets and I didn't see that until I already bought these. So I didn't see that initially, uh, but it makes sense. Like the fans of Funko want Funko to be better. They want Funko to really like cater to their core audience. Like make these NFTs special because the price is premium. It only makes sense. Like, what are, you, what are they doing with all the extra money where people are buying packs and not getting a dang thing? Like, literally getting all commons and uncommons. Like, you know? Like, worth pennies. Like, these cars are worth pennies. Literally. And they're paying $10 or $30 for something that's worth pennies. What are they doing with all the extra money? Reinvest that. Put that into making the actual redeemables top tier my ideas and then i'm gonna let you guys go because it was a very long video why don't they make and this would be very controversial i'm sure make a chase grail so a grail but then make a more limited chase version of that grail was well, only maybe 200 of those out of the 999 you know make that thing glow in the dark or make that thing have a alternate pose or you know whatever what have you when I do that, people go crazy and really try their hardest to try and get the not only the grail, but now the chase to the grail, you know? Or again, flocked, uh, flocked, glow in the dark, uh, metallic, 
uh, and all the other different types. Why not do any of that with your stuff moving forward? It only makes sense. Even the beginning of Funko, the limited pieces where they're making 24 of an item, they were making those items like the Red Hulk a long time ago at the uh, Comic-Con. They made it metallic and then they made a regular variant that was available to the, to the, to the uh, public. Um, but they made that one that was at the Comic-Con metallic. Funko knows what to do. Just do it. Just do it. But with that said, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to get off my pedestal. I love Funko as a company. I love collecting, but I know that they can do better because they've done better. So get back to that. Genius. Out. Subscribe!